What's going on guys, Pog here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys cool features on this 2020 Ram 1500. And this one here is the limited trim. Now, before I show you guys the first cool feature, I want to say thank you to Murray Chrysler here in Okotoks, Alberta for allowing me to come down here and film their beautiful Ram 1500. So if you're interested, I'll have the link in the description so you guys can view their inventory. So the first cool feature is the key. Now, the reason I find this key to be really cool is because it has so many functions right on the key fob. We obviously have our unlock, the lock, we also have this over here. So if I press this twice, it will drop the tailgate. Now to put it back up, it has to be manual. So it is assisted, so it's not too heavy. Then we have this button over here. So if you do find the truck to be harder for you to get in, you can press this twice and it will lower the truck for you. just like that. Then this button over here is the remote start. So if I press this twice. The truck starts right up. I can also turn it off by pressing this once. Then there is panic. Here's a closer look at the key fob. It's a very nice looking key fob. In the back says Ram Limited. There's also this button here. So if I push this, I can also take the key out to get into the truck if the key fob isn't working. So I can just put the key in here. Just like that. I can also put this key fob in my pocket. You can see the vehicle is unlocked. By pushing this button, it will just lock the doors. Then I can just grab the handle. It will unlock the doors. Then I can get into the truck, put my foot on the brake and push this button to start the engine. The next cool feature is the automatic running board. Opening the door will open up the power automatic running boards so when i close the door you can hear it coming back up i can also control the automatic running boards with this touch screen so i can just go over to the controls i can retract the steps because they're out currently so i'll touch it and then you'll see the running boards close I can also touch it again to deploy and they just came right out. It also shows it right over here. So when we're done, once I open the door, it comes right down for me to get out easily. The next cool feature is in the back. So if I just put the seat up, you can see we have storage. This also comes down or opens up so that the items stay in here. And then I can just lift up this all season floor mat. And underneath here, we have this ram bin. It is a little harder with this in here. Opens it right up. This also comes out. And if you look closely, there's also measurements on it. So it's like a ruler. So let's put this back. There's also tie downs here.
can see more storage. The next cool feature is that these rear seats actually recline. Just like that. Now the next cool feature is still part of this beautiful rear seat. Now, if you look over here, you can notice that there are two buttons. Those are the heated seats in the rear. Now we also have these parts here that aren't buttons, but that's because this limited is missing an option. If you have that option, you can also have rear ventilated seats. The next cool feature is the grab handle. So you can see we have a grab handle over here, but if you look closely, it is leather wrapped and stitched right over here. The next cool feature is in this digital display in the instrument cluster. So let me start the engine. And using these buttons over here, I'm gonna scroll down, vehicle info, and right over here, you can see the engine hours. There's the mileage, and you also have the engine hours, so idle and drive, so total of eight engine hours. That's a really cool feature. The next cool feature is this beautiful 12 inch touchscreen. You can see right over here, we have a really nice big map screen, but if you want to have, let's say, your climate right there, you can see it's nice and large. But if I press home and then I put, let's say, my climate down there and then I can have my map right here on the top. So it's kind of like a split screen. If I want something else, I can just close that and then go to media example. And then if I want to, I can exit that out and then I can have my uh, navigation down here. Now, there's also apps over here, so you can just go through there just like this. So if I wanna have my heated steering wheel right over here to replace climate, for example, I can just touch and hold and I can drop it here or here, whichever I prefer, but I'll put it in climate for now. And now if I just touch this, it will activate my heated steering wheel and then if I want to, let's say use climate, I can just click it here and then I have my climate still. But if I ever quickly want to turn on my heated steering wheel, I can just touch and it will do it. We can also put the climate right back if we change our mind, just like that. So you can have the climate nice and large here. You still have your physical buttons, which are really soft to the touch. You can also use these or just like this. You can also go right into the controls from the climate. Really cool touch screen. The next cool feature is right here in the center console. Now you can see over here, we have like phone holders. So I can just put my phone right here. And you can notice it just started wireless charging. You can see we have two USB-C ports and two USB ports right here with the auxiliary. So I can just grab this USB-C, just put it right here, just like that. And then I can also run the wires through here and let the phone rest right over here. Really nice that the cable can go through there. Once my phone is plugged in and nicely sitting over there, you can notice that this truck also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It seems like it doesn't matter which port it's plugged in, Apple CarPlay will still launch. Now the next cool feature is in this beautiful 12 inch touchscreen. So if I go over to the apps, then settings, I can go to units. Then from here, I can have the option between US, metric and custom. Now this is really cool. If I go custom, I can pick what I want to see. So if I want to see the speed in miles per hour, you can see right now in the instrument cluster screen, it's kilometers per hour, but I can make that only miles per hour. So I can pick between what I want to see. I can go to the distance. I can see it in kilometers. 
So example, if I go down here to trip example, you can see right now it's showing me in kilometers. But if I select miles, it will now change that to miles. So I can pick between whichever way I want to see. You can see there, I'm in Canada, so I'm going to change it back to kilometers. Fuel consumption, so I can pick between liters per 100 kilometers, kilometers per liter, miles per gallon UK, miles per gallon US. So I can easily pick between whichever one I prefer. Then we have pressure, so I can choose PSI, for example, and then temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit. It's a really cool way to set exactly how you prefer your system to show you the units. The next cool feature has to do with the parking sensors. Now, if you look down here, we have the control for like the air suspension, tow hold, traction control, but then we have this over here. You can see that we have parking sensor off for the rear and then parking sensor off for the front. So I can just tap here and now it shows right there that the rear is off. I can also push this down and now the front. So I can choose which one I want off or on. So I can have both on or I can only turn off the front, for example. There you go, only the front's off. It looks like when it lights up, it's off. Now the next cool feature is again part of a safety. So if I go over to the blind spot alert, you can see that we have light and chime. So there's a triangle here on the side view mirrors that will illuminate and chime if someone is in my blind spot. But if you look closely down here, there's also trailer length for blind spot alert. So it's at auto right now, maximum 12 meters it looks like. Auto detects length of trailer, max sets all trailers to 12 meters. What this sounds like to me is if you're towing, the vehicle will detect the length of your trailer and then it will alert you if someone is in the blind spot of your trailer. That's really cool. And the last cool feature has to do with this center console. So you can see over here, this is nicely sliding. We have a lot of room over here. That part also is further in, as you can see. There's some storage there too. I believe this used to be a disk drive. Again, slides. I can push this and it will reveal two cup holders. Then we can push this. And then we have a very nice storage space. Looks like for some coins. Opening this up. You can see behind here, there's measurements. We also have more storage. And then we also have a separator here that has some cool trucks. Looks like um, the Ram 1500 from the past. So putting this up, it wouldn't allow the items looks like to go um, to the front. And then we also have a max fill. Looks like so that this wouldn't squish whatever is behind and it can easily move freely. There's also this portion with another USB. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.